Hi there, I'm Robin, I'm here with Zen Audio, and today we're going to take a look at importing files into ALK. Now just because this is a live looping app, it doesn't mean that everything you do has to be a live loop. Let's say you want to import a, a drum loop or a MIDI file that you'd like to feed into an instrument, that's also possible in ALK. The file types that ALK accepts are MP3, WAV, AIFF, FLAC and MIDI. And importing files into ALK is really simple. You just drag the file that you want onto the window. And ALK automatically generates a new track for it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this into my session. So I've got this bit of guitar here. And I think I'm going to put this loop over here and I'm going to make some copies of it. You can also import from the menu by clicking File and then Import. Now, this drum loop that I've just dropped in has the same tempo as the track, so we're not running into any problems here. But let's say you wanted to import a drum loop that was in a different tempo. I'm going to go ahead and grab this one here, drum loop slow. And I'm going to bring this across to the same point. Now you can hear that ALK has automatically detected the tempo and shifted the clip tempo to the tempo of the session. Which is really nice because it means that anything that you drop in there is automatically going to be in time with the rest of the session. Now if you want to turn this off, you just give it a right click and where it says tempo adjust pitch shift, there's a little tick. You just give that an unclick and you'll now hear the original. <laughs> I'm just going to put this back on a second. So right now it's being tempo adjusted to the session tempo. If you want to override the detected tempo with a completely different tempo, you just right click and choose override clip tempo from here. And I'm going to go for 100 BPM. And it's obviously out of time, but I'm just showing you what's possible for demonstration. And then let's say I want to import some MIDI. I just go to my MIDI file and drop it into the session just like before. I'm going to make some duplicates of this. So you can see that you can import MIDI just as easily as audio. So there you go, you can now go and import some drum loops and other melody loops to accompany your songs. Okay, hope that was helpful and we'll see you next time.